The government has just launched a new scheme in partnership with Pru Leaf to make hospital food better, but it's been food in schools that has been the major talking point. Despite criticism from people across the country, the government has said it will not budge to offer free school meal vouchers over the half-term holidays and believes it is doing enough to end child food poverty. We have delivered to 50,000 uh, vulnerable children through our um, uh, programme uh, that cost about £9 million of school activities and foods programme and we'll continue to do more of that. My own um, county of Warwickshire uh, is using that £63 million of funding that we made available in, uh, uh, centrally uh, to help children through this half term and at Christmas as well and other areas as well. I was talking to Carol Shanahan in Stoke-on-Trent last night where they've provided 150,000 meals already and are doing even more and we commend everybody who's getting involved but the right way to do this is through local government as well as of course increasing the amount of help through universal credit and the welfare system for those most needy families. Footballer Marcus Rashford has been the driving force behind the campaign and has already managed to change the Prime Minister's mind once over the summer holidays. The question for many is, will he be able to change it again? There's a lot of children that just simply aren't eating because there's no food and the only times they are eating is when they're in school. But obviously with the pandemic, it means that it was impossible for them to be in school. I know firsthand what hunger can lead to so I think enough's enough. If you have things that you care about, keep them close to your heart. I'd always encourage to speak out about them. One thing is helping the people, another thing is making sure everyone's aware of the issue. People don't have the knowledge and it's through no fault of their own. It's just lacking the understanding what it's like in different communities.